All right, New Mexico style pulled pork. So we're going to start out with two pork butts, and they're all going to go uh, standard aluminum foil pan. I like to save all the juice from the package. Gives it more moisture. And this is bone in. Adds a lot of flavor to it. So what's gonna make it New Mexico style? Uh, a lot of our traditions are based on slow cooking pork um, but, you know, of course we got chili, green, red, uh, spice is a big part of our culture. Um, but we do a thing called mantanza where it's, uh, translation is actually the butchering or the killing. Um, you cook the pig slow and low in the ground. Traditionally you would stuff it with onions, garlic, carrots, apples, anything to keep the moisture content because you're going to cook it in the ground. You've seen the other videos that we've done overnight 16 to 24 hours so we're replicating that but in a smoked pulled pork setting and chili based new mexico style so we'll start out with onions doesn't have to be super fine doesn't have to be fancy because we're going to cook it until it's pretty much mush of course take the hard skin off garlic I like to use this elephant garlic or giant garlic whatever they call it in your neck of the woods like my new knife sick good to go there okay so before we add all of this stuff we're gonna season it a traditional seasoning would be salt pepper basic right love pepper so if you're not going to smoke this you can add olive oil and slow bake it in the oven cover it but we're going to be smoking in a traditional kind of smoke uh, we got applewood smoke kicking in the back already. You saw that. But so, what makes it New Mexico? We're going to Chimayo Red Chili. So, Chimayo is a community up north in New Mexico, which I believe has the best red chili. Don't shoot me if you have other opinions. Basically what we're doing is a New Mexico dry rub. Heavy chili, salt, pepper, and then now we're gonna add all our vegetables. That's gonna help keep it moist. You can put this in after the smoke, but I like to have the smoke and the vegetables and everything. So we got our red onions, our giant garlic, and then I took the opportunity to make um, shredded carrots. All right, guys, the pork's been in for about two and a half hours, three hours. Uh, we're going to pull, pull pork. No? <laughs> we're going to pull the pulled pork, pull the pulled pork out of the orno, and uh, we're going to wrap it in foil. That way we keep that moisture in there. Mm. So... Got lots of smoke on the vegetables, lots of smoke in the meat. Uh, didn't overcook anything, so there's still lots of moisture in there. Um, to finish this, after we break it all apart, after it's cooked for uh, another six hours, it should fall right apart. The vegetables should mush up real nice. 
Then we'll add our signature New Mexico barbecue sauce. So with pulled pork, a lot of people will cook it and it gets real dry. So that's why a lot of times I'll add all the vegetables and then seal it up really good. So two layers of foil is really good to use in this application. So now we're gonna go back in the oven six more hours. In she goes. Lock her up. All right, let's pull that pork. Pull pork. Okay. All right. All right. Yummy. We'll see how tender this is. Should be great. All right. Oh yeah. Ooh, hot. Hot stuff. Let me flip it over. Okay, a little, a little bit of that roasted goodness. All right, pulled pork, New Mexico style, roasted vegetables, tender pork uh, with the red chili barbecue sauce. And I like a little bit of chai. Voila. Hey YouTube, it's Chef John. Um, if you've liked what you've seen today and uh, you want to explore it a little bit further, you want recipes, click down below and get on our mailing list. Click the bell icon, subscribe, and uh, we'll get you that info.